Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, not gaming today, so what is that? Um, I'm actually be reacting to uh, Winglet's a uh, little TF2 series. I uh, start with the Bolted Behemoth. Um, for those of you not familiar with me, I I've been playing Team Fortress 2 since right around fuck like. 2011 pretty much right after it came out my dad got on the orange box and I was able to get on my account by proxy put a lot of time into it and then I had to I uh, use a completely different account for the last few years because surprise switching from my computer at my dad's house to you know my own computer made it so I lost all my passwords and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> I never could remember it. But, like, just on this account, I have over a thousand hours. That's over the last couple, or a few years. I haven't had as much time to play, though. Anyways, uh, let's <laughs> get into it. <laughs> it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> that is the equalizer, I believe. On a uh, soldier weapon, when you equip it and get low health, you get crits. <laughs> um, Bye. All in a day's work. You've done me proud, boy. Naturally. Now that is what I want to see. Incoming! He's carrying the family business, which is a shotgun. <laughs> heavy. I can't really remember the stats on that one. Stock grenade launcher. He's. I think that's the baby faces blaster, or is that, or maybe that's stock, I see the barrel is pretty r smooth and round back there, I think that's stock. So he's got the gun, uh, engineer's got the um, gunslinger, uh, basically he takes off his glove that he normally wears and he has a robot hand underneath, lets you build a mini sentry instead of a normal sentry. Shoots faster, so it's good for uh, small advances but it's pretty pointless nowadays with the update that lets engineer pick up and move his buildings because when the gunslinger first released you couldn't do that so if you were on offense in an attack defense map or something like that uh, you'd have to use a mini sentry in order to really play engineer on offense <clears throat> That I don't think that's oh, 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 That rocket launcher is called the black box. Only three rockets in the clip, and it heals you for I if I remember correctly, half of all damage done with it. Uh oh, oh, soldier is using the uh I think that's the market gardener. Yeah, it's the market gardener. It's set with the Liberty Launcher and the Mantreads. Uh, basically, it gets a critical hit against enemies while you are airborne and rock, uh, rocket jumping. Um, which mean well, a critical hit in Team Fortress 2 means it does three times normal damage. Yeah, that's the ambassador. It gets crits on headshots. It does not pierce enemies like that, though. That is somehow here. The I. 33% faster uh, stowaway time, 66% deployed, uh, minus 66% deploy time, uh, so you can switch weapons with it a lot faster. Uh, but the air blast is um, it's like 25% plus 25% air blast cost. Who wants some of this? Thanks for the aid. Oh, and that's the 
Sandman lets you, uh, that bat was the Sandman, uh, lets you throw a baseball at an enemy which stuns them and forces them to move slowly for a few seconds. The gun that the engineer right here is holding is the Pomson 6000, which uh, shoots projectiles that are about uh, roughly equivalent to shotgun blasts, but it's not hit scan, so if, uh, so if you're shooting at anything from a decent range, they can just move out of the way. Um, so it's not really worth using. At least with the shotgun, you have the full potential for damage, plus you can get random crits, uh, and it's hit scan, so they can't dodge a shotgun. Oh, get here, cupcake. That's. I need some help. That's it. And scout stock pistol. Hey, what's up? Today is a good. Scout. Uh, the red scout is using the force of nature, uh, which has. Uh, I'm trying to remember the specific stats. I think it's plus 33% more bullets. Uh, only two clips in the, or only two rounds in the clip, and then when you reload, it reloads the entire clip at once. Dang. Gentlemen. Plus, it has a lot of knockbacks. So you can use it for uh, a triple jump as a scout. So you can normally double jump, but by using that in midair, he can give himself a third jump. Oh, that was easy. Hey, 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 See, I can throw it, and then it causes bleeding on whoever it hits. As well as, I believe, a flat 40 damage. <laughs> Moron! Hmm. Well, I reckon that's that. I think not. What? Oh! Yeah, in game, if you hear someone moving around that clearly, they have, um, what's the phrase? Ah, uh, it's um, they they have they have a sort of surround sound, so you can tell where uh sound is coming from based on what you hear. Um. So you'd be able to tell exactly where they are, plan accordingly, set up a... You, you have a demo, man. You can set up a sticky trap and just blow him up as soon as he walks through the door. And then have everyone else pumping shots through. <laughs> and there's the Half-Life 2 music. <laughs> Red Heavy there is using the Hulong Heater. When you spin up, it uh, creates a ring of fire around you, which is really useful for dealing with spies, and really fun on Times 100 maps, because it just destroys everything. That is the regular sentry that the mini sentry replaces. Uh, the regular sentry fires slower, and I... Uh, Ha fire slower, has a larger hitbox, and takes longer to deploy than the mini sentry, but the regular sentry can be upgraded to level 2 and level 3. Once you're able to get an, a sentry up to level 2, it is now better than the mini sentry. Mini sentry is somewhere between uh, level 1 and level 2 sentry in terms of uh, effectiveness. Big damn robot! <laughs> Okay, so that, uh, the medic's gun that was down on the ground a second ago, that was the overdose, I believe. I think it's the overdose. Um, 
Although I can't remember the stats because I don't play medic. <laughs> He is using the Bizarre Bargain. Each headshot increases the speed with which you gain charge. The way Sniper works on TF2, the longer you uh, look down the scope, the more charge your weapon gets. Uh, when you're at maximum charge, your gun will do uh, 150 damage on a body shot, which is enough to kill half the classes in the game. Well, light classes, so Spy, Sniper, uh, Engineer, Scout, so yeah, half class in the game. Uh, the Bizarre Bargain takes a long time to charge up that first one, but as you get more headshots, it speeds up to where you can eventually get full charge pretty much instantly. It's one that rewards, it's a weapon that rewards kill streaks. No, I was wrong about the medigun. That was the vaccinator. Yeah, that... Uh, the vaccinator, I don't know the stats to. The overdose... I think the overdose is what I use whenever I play medic. Uh, it's basically a I don't trust my team to keep me alive gun. Uh, where every shot you fire heals you when it hits an enemy. Just to clarify, that one is not what that gun on the ground was. Hey! Uh, Bonk Atomic Punch is a weapon for the scout. Well, it's secondary for the scout, anyways. Uh, you drink it, and for a few seconds, uh, scout cannot be hit by any form of damage whatsoever. Um, if you're dumb enough to fall off a cliff though, you still die. Um, yeah, you become invulnerable to damage for a couple seconds, but then once it wears off, you are uh, stuck running at I think 75% speed uh, for 3 or 4 seconds. <laughs> That pyro is using the phlogistonator, uh, dealing damage with it builds up an oomph meter. Uh, when you use the alternate fire button, it actually uh, makes you taunt, makes you invulnerable for the duration of the taunt, and then gives you guaranteed critical hits for a few seconds afterwards. But you don't get any random critical hits with it, and you can't air blast. Now that was the Dead Ringer. That is a uh, spy spe specific alternate cloak. Um, spy can turn invisible. It's called cloaking in the game. Um, the Dead Ringer, basically you fake your own death, and when you do, you get a speed boost, turn invisible, uh, and you cannot use it again for, I want to say 20 seconds, I think is the cooldown for it. Uh, but the decloaking sound is super, super loud, so you have to use it to get the hell out of there. Whatever situation you are in. Um, so, if you try and uncloak behind an enemy with that thing to get a backstab, they're gonna heal you immediately. Surprise. Hell, they'll heal. They'll hear you immediately from across the map. <laughs> That's 
the Electro Sapper. I spice you normal secondary. I put it on buildings and it keeps them from moving. It paralyzes them and starts dealing damage. They only work on ships. Yo, heads up! Oh. He's got a flare gun and a detonator. The detonator uh, works like the flare gun, except you can make the projectile explode in midair using alternate fire, uh, which is useful for lighting groups of enemies on fire. Uh, the flare gun, you have to hit your enemy to light them on fire and deal damage, but the detonator does a little less damage. <laughs> That is the detonator on the left and the standard flare gun. Pyro's secondary weapon is usually a shotgun. Batter up! Yeah, you only get one shot with the Sandman before you have to wait for it to recharge. Or you can pick up your ball and recharge it immediately. Uh, yeah, that. You know, given was well, when was this release? Uh, to that okay, so this is before that guy changed. So uh, the equalizer and the escape plan—they're both uh, pickaxes that the soldier can use. They used to be one and the same weapon, where getting low health gave you a speed boost and uh, mini crits, or uh, having low health gave you a damage boost and a speed boost. But Valve ended up splitting that weapon into two separate ones. The escape plan, which gives you the speed boost, and the... Uh, trying to remember what the other one's called. It just slipped my mind. Um, <clears throat> damn it, I should... Let's see, um... Yeah, the equalizer. The escape plan and the equalizer. The equalizer gives you the damage, the escape plan gives you the speed boost, so now neither of them are very good. Damn it! But since this was released so long ago, this is probably before they got turned into two weapons. Ah! <laughs> Stock flamethrower. Yeah, those are both stock flamethrowers. Let's go, let's go, let's go! No, no, no! This is grenades. Some assistance, please. Gotcha. Well, in men, shall we? <laughs> Say goodbye to your kneecaps, chucklehead. Do not do it. Do not even think about doing it. Do not even think about not doing it. My head. Delicious! I regret everything! I regret everything I've ever done! Why? Did you forget about me? Why would you call a snapping control? Yeah, all, uh, all the winglets animations, they just use uh, voice lines from the characters themselves, either in existing uh, either in existing animations or from the game itself. Uh, because uh, Source Filmmaker, which is what Valve used to make the official trailers and cinematics for the game, uh, is available for free, so a lot of people are able to go in and tinker around with it all they want with the actual character models and... 
<laughs> Mission accomplished! You failed. What? The enemy intelligence was returned to their base. My intelligence! <laughs> and Damn it. that's the cue for the sequel. <laughs> Which I'll leave for next time. Yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, check out my other terrible, terrible videos, uh, and I will see you next time.